We're looking at 15 Beatles single libraries, uh, half dime single libraries. Uh, these are going to be in more detail than normal. Uh, we're doing it for a client that uh, is looking at, uh, at the whole collection. Uh, this is number five. Uh, it's in good condition. The uh, seam is there. It has some slate browning around the edges here uh, from dust. And there's a slight um, publishing uh, or printing undercut there. The issue is in good condition overall. Same characteristics are here in the back. Slate dust. And that is a small tear right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Corner is folded over right there. This is number six. Number six, overall in good condition. However, the spine is split completely. The same publishing under, I mean, a printing undercut right there. It has the same type of dust staining on the edges from where it was stacked prior. It has some foxing down here at the bottom. Actually, that's on the front cover, so we moved it up. We would get rid of the That's the way we got them, so try not to mess with them too much. Back is the same. The uh, image is very vibrant. It does have a small marking there. The interior is they're all in good condition. And though these have not been stamped, we always put our dealer stamp, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, in the lower right hand corner, unless for some reason it interferes with the actual uh, text of the of the item. Then we find a interior page. On all these, it'll be on the uh, bottom right hand corner. Let's see if I can make sure I get that in the camera. It'll be in the bottom right hand corner right there. Uh, it's a dealer stamp you can see on any of our uh, uh, items on the eBay or, uh, or at our website. <coughs> this is number eight. A small tear there. That piece of paper there, edge is slightly folded over up there. Yeah. The image is in vibrant condition. Edges are straight. Little fox in there. cover has similar light dust 
marks on it. Attributed more to age than I think I would to dust. This is number 10. Okay, this is number 10. It does have the undercut on the top. It does not attribute. Spine is detached. Or split, excuse me. Um, or ruffles along the edge from foxing. The worst is on the bottom. Can be straightened or all pleasant. Or all pleasant. So it can be straightened when I pack it. I said this one is split. Back is fine. Does seem to be markings along the edge and on the back. Got a fold over here. Got markings there. Tag there. <coughs> this is number fourteen. Condition is good. Spine is intact. Does not have the slight drop as we've seen in printing up here. <coughs> Small dust right there. And slightly along the edges here. good condition. The interiors are the same on all of them. They're in good condition. As I said, our dealer stamp is, goes right there. And in this case, it's the uh, just the contents list of all the rest of them. Here is number 17. <coughs> image, full color image is in very good condition, great color. Spine is intact, has a small tear down there for the bottom, but the rest of it is intact. Now you get to the top where again you get the turn, turn splits there. Edges are straight with the occasional rough edge. But these are what, 140 years old? <clears throat> the back, similar to all the rest. Perhaps more of dust staining here than in the front. This is number 22. Spine is split. Small fold over there. Fold over up here on the second page. Edge here has some foxing. All the contents are present. Color is in 
very good condition. This is number 24. This is in very good condition. The spine is intact. No splitting that I can see. The beginning of the splitting down there. And we've got the very light dust or aging stains along the side. The image itself is very bright and vibrant. No issues there. Small age staging right there. On the back, we've got some dust and we have some age spotting right there. If you look at this video, it's done in the MP4 format, so you can stop this and magnifying it, and magnify it to see whatever distinction you want to see on it. <clears throat> this is number 26. This has a stain there, stain there, stain here, small stain there, stains along the edges. Spine is intact. The color image has stains up there, but the image itself does not have staining on it. There is a stain in the text. And there's one right there too. That was number 26. <clears throat> number 27. I thought this bone was attached, but it doesn't look like it is. Now I've got a small tear up there. Uh, some staining along here, uh, dust staining slightly along the edge. It's a press line. I thought it was because the spine was split, but the spine is intact. And that is not staining down there. That is actually part of the uh, photograph, uh, image. <coughs> This is number 28. Spine is split on it. It does have some foxing down here along the edge. There is a small piece missing there. Limited dust marks along the edges here. Very light. Small piece missing up here too. Come on the edge. Okay. I said the spine is. Good. 
good. Back. <coughs> Excuse me, it has advertisement on it. I've seen a story in the back of it. Do some reading about that. Yeah, well, the rest of them have signs. This must have been an advertising ploy by. Uh, back to the part of the book. This part of the book is not. It's not uh, split, just the front and back page. And on the flip side of this is uh, songs. So, so I haven't seen enough of these to, to be an expert about it, but I certainly can read up on it. <clears throat> the uh, this spine is split, heavy foxing along those spines. Probably the uh, least desirable copy of the one of the most desirable issues. I personally haven't seen that. I haven't even looked to see if there's images on the internet of it. Sorry for the light streaming in through the window, but we'll get closer looks for you. Again, printing is just a little bit below. Not trimmed per se, just the way it's printed. Got a line going through here. That cover's in good shape. Continues with the slight step down of the back cover. Spine isn't stacked. Small rub there, nothing missing. In the image, it is very vibrant, very colorful for that time in our history. <coughs> Number 37. This shoe has uh, got some staining down at the bottom. Might have been glue. Spine is, is, and then is intact. Corner has a split. Blue based on that. Small little hole over there. The image, of course, is very vibrant. A lot of stains on the front. Yeah. Little very light dust staining there. Number 40. We'll continue with the glue staining on the edge. B 
the uh, spine is intact. Mm, little split there. <clears throat> and a little split down here on the bottom. back is similar to the front. It does have that light dust right through there. Got a fold over there. If you're seeing this, We kept the breast of the things that we find and locate. Put on our website, which is www.imaginationradio.com, or on the eBay site, OTR Imagination Radio. You can subscribe to the site, and you'll get an email every time we list something new. Okay, this is the last one. It's number 42. The spine is split. From here all the way up to about there. Edges very straight. A little epoxy on this. Very little, if any, dust. <clears throat> aging has darkened the corners and the edges. Small fold over right there. Back cover is similar. Does have a aging spot there. Some aging down here at the bottom. That is folded over, that's not missing. There you have it. Have a good day.